Hi, Ralph Demetrius here. We have a little astro insight for you. It's May 2nd, 2016, and people have been asking us about the fact that so many planets are retrograde right now, which is kind of remarkable. Most times people just know about Mercury retrograde. That's the problematic one. It's because Mercury goes retrograde more than any other planet, and Mercury relates to communications and short distance travel, it's things that affect us you know, pretty dramatically. But right now, Mercury is retrograde, Mars is retrograde. Now Mars goes the least retrograde of any planet, okay, so the most and the least. Jupiter, the great expander, the largest planet in the solar system, Saturn, the great constrictor, they're both retrograde, and Pluto is retrograde. Now, this is significant because in terms of the planets we can see without a telescope, you might say your intimate planets, the planets people really notice, of the ones that can go retrograde, of the five that can go retrograde, four of them are retrograde right now. And what happens is it makes this energy kind of pull in and slow down. So, if you have felt like life is going too fast, boy, are you in luck because this really slows things down. Additionally, Venus, at the very beginning of this, just went into Taurus. Taurus is one of Venus's ruling sign. Venus is, rules Taurus and Libra. Taurus is the feminine sign. Libra is the masculine sign. Each uh, planet rules, or the traditional planets rule, rules two signs. And Venus and Taurus is about good restaurants, good food, gardening, flowers, real estate, money, luxurious things, things that you like to have around you because it makes you feel good. And Venus, because she is in rulership, which means she is the queen of the bowl, why all these other planets are not in major rulerships, in fact, they're not even in exaltation, these are the different kinds of rulerships, and they're retrograde, so they're pulling their energy inward, which means that in your life they go inward. For instance, Right now with Mars retrograde, and Mars is going to stay retrograde for a while, it's a very good time to focus on your health. Why? Because Mars is usually very extroverted. You know, it's out there. Marshall. When Mars goes retrograde, you feel your pains a little bit more. Well, pay attention. Work on that. Take some herbs. You know, use some things on your body. Do some natural therapies to help yourself be healthier. I've noticed that as an herbalist right now, a lot of people are focusing on this right now. We're getting a lot of questions about what people can do to improve their health. Not that we don't get them other times too, but it really seems like it accelerates during Mars retrograde. During Mercury retrograde, it's a very good time to go back and deal with things that you were dealing with before. And right now Mercury is in Taurus, so it might be a good time to go back and look at business issues and money issues that you were working on before that maybe you ran past it. Go back and pick those threads up. Maybe you have old business contacts that you need to go back and touch base with. It's a very good time for that. Because Venus is in rulership and has moved into Taurus, it means that Mercury, even though it's retrograde and even though it's in Taurus, not a strong sign, is empowered. It's kind of like, you know, you're feeling like you don't really have the right clothes and you're in a foreign country and you don't really speak the right language, but you're going out someplace with your really gorgeous cousin who speaks the language and dresses beautifully, and because you're with your cuz, hey, life is much better. You've got a connection. Now, Jupiter's retrograde, which means that people, to a certain extent, have been, you know, careful in terms of how they've been spending. It's Jupiter and Virgo, though. It's been a big time for people to focus on their health, Jupiter and Virgo. But Jupiter's turning direct, I believe, on the 9th. So at that point, we're going to see the kind of economy start moving forward again. Saturn is conjunct Mars, and they're both retrograde. And Saturn's not in a strong sign. Mars isn't a pretty strong sign. It's in a fire sign in Sagittarius. But it's running retrograde, and it's very close to a star called Antares. It's a very martial star. And so you probably have noticed there's been a lot of, I feel like there's been a lot of violence in the world. There's been a lot of intimate violence, too. Uh, it may, maybe it just makes into the news more, but whenever Mars goes over Antares, you do tend to notice it. Now, later this month, Mars is actually backing up into Scorpio, which is a stronger sign. It's one of the, the feminine ruling sign of, of Mars. So things will move forward. To really get kind of the insight that this, 
read over the our forecast in the planetary calendar. I'm going to post it on this this Facebook page uh, along with the along with this little video clip. It'll give you some insights about what's going on right now. But like I said, take the time to let things slow down. It's really about the first two or three weeks of May, things are really going to slow down. Don't, if you feel like every time you try and move forward, it's twice as hard as it should be, chill out, relax. It's not going to be like this for very long. But sometimes you really need to focus on yourself, focus on your personal comfort, on your personal beauty, on how you feel, on, on good food, on life. Or as we say here in wine country, what's there to discuss except food, wine, and weather? Those are the topics right now. So, for the moment, this is Ralph Dimitris, astrologer. I hope you find this uh, helpful. For more information um, about astrology, about our uh, Wine Country at Work TV show, about our Ask Ralph Lamani series about well-being, visit spaceandtime.com. And enjoy. <laughs>